A good guy should be enough. A good man, that should be enough for any woman who desires to become engaged, you know, in a man-woman relationship. It should be enough. But I believe we have a problem because what the men mean when they say good guy is very different than what the women mean when they say good guy. So I'm going to break it down to you. So we already talked about the whole ass niggas. Now we're going to talk about the good guys. And this is from a man's point of view because we women, we love the good guys. We always welcome them. But the men themselves, when they say good guy, they have something totally different in mind, dude. A good guy in, in the modern, like, current, you know, currency, a good guy is just a guy who's willing to get in a relationship. So if he's willing to have a girlfriend, he considers himself a good guy because there's a lot of fuckboys out there who don't even want to deal with no woman issue, all right? So if he, if he can just... If he's just willing to have a girl, you know, call, call her his girl, that's my woman, that's my girl, you know, that, that's a good guy in the men's zone. That's a good guy. But it's not enough. It's not enough for, for women who want to, to, you know, to want to do serious things, who want to build legacies, build families. That's not enough. So a good guy will ride a woman for as long as she lets him. <laughs> I'm going to explain to you what that means. That means a good guy will never suggest the next step. He'll never really want to take it no further. He will, he will ride what you're giving him as comfort for as long as you allow him to do it. So basically, he's not really willing to build you either. Like if you, if you push him towards building you, he, he might do it. But he's not, um, he's not, that's not his MO. You know, he's just going for the ride. And for as long as the ride is there, a good guy is there for you. That's, and that's a good guy for you. Another thing that a good guy does is a good guy will not only ride you for as long as you let him, a good guy will ride the truth. <laughs> so a good guy is likely to make you think, like, okay, these are examples of real-life situations for the sake of this video. Let's say you meet a good guy, and he'll, he'll make you believe he has a home, he has a car, he has a property, he has other things. But those are the things he will lead you to believe. He will not come out and say that, but he will give you hints to lead you to believe them. But if you ever confronted him about it, he would tell you the truth. He would not keep a lie like that if you, you know, if you say that, yeah, you know, like he would, that's a good guy, you know. Um, a good guy, he is like, um, he's not really like a father figure. He's more, he's not really, he's more like a daddy type, a good guy. So if you, if you, if, if, if you have a, if a good guy is like a baby daddy or a father to a child, a good guy, for as long as the mom is calling every week saying, come pick up your child, come pick up your child. It's time for, you know, you have Monday and Tuesdays, you know, you have Saturdays and Sundays. For as long as she's doing that, he's in. So it's like a guy that you got a police. A lot of times, good guys, they end up in jail. Yeah, because, and then when they come out of, out of jail, those good guys, they come out, they are the reform guys. Because those are the guys that you need to keep at them. You need to keep babying them. You need to keep pacing them. You need to keep putting energy into them. You need to keep it going with these good guys. And it takes so much energy that it might make you sick. It, it's Being with a good guy, so-called, is not for everybody. And so... When a man says, I'm a good guy, I would tell a woman to pay attention, open your eyes, and listen. Because when a man says, I'm a good guy, that means he's willing to take you on as a girlfriend. And let me tell you, the minute he finds a woman that can manage him better than you can, he will hop on it. A good guy will not hesitate to use your resources. A good guy will give you a ride, and you know, that's so kind of him to give you a ride, but he will always need help. He always need, he needs help to get to the next step. That's, that's a good guy. And sometimes I feel really bad for good guys, because you know, I have brothers too. I, I, I hope they're not just good guys, but the good guy is the kind of guy that will make you feel bad for him, because you can see he wants to do better. You can see he wants to try, and it's all talk. It's all on paper, because when it's time for the good guys to really put in the work, they really... <laughs> they don't really like putting in the work. Like, when I used to live in New York City, 
I used to meet a lot of good guys and they were all Rastaman, Rastafarian guys. And these guys would be good guys, you know. These are guys that you could you could probably build a family, build a foundation with. But a good this type of good guys, a lot of them, they don't want to necessarily do a nine to five or push work. And 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 mind you, pushing a nine to five is not necessarily the kind of job that you want to assign to him. You don't you don't want to necessarily tell him what to do, but he's not going to create another type of work either so even though he's not going to take the nine to five that's already there for him but he's not going to build the kind of work he envisions in his mind so it's always in his mind but if you as a woman you came and you made it happen he would go along with it he would he would go along with it he would go along with the taste of it he will he will keep it going that's a good guy for you a good guy is gonna do that you know when you if you call a good guy at three o'clock in the morning he'll be there he may not have gas money but he'll be there, honey. He'll come and, and <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll help you out, okay? So, basically, don't expect a good guy to build you as a woman, okay? A good guy is more likely looking for a woman to reinforce him and to build him. It's the other way around for the good guys as they, as they um, label themselves. And a lot of times, it's all... A woman will make do with that, you know, if she got the energy, if she got the time and the patience. She'll do it. <laughs> like I said, don't expect a good guy to build you. So a lot of times, good guys, they'll have good ideas. They'll be like, oh, honey, why don't you eat better, you know? Oh, honey, you know, I really don't like the way you're doing this. But they'll never take the initiative to get the food or to give you money for better food, to upgrade your food or to, to go buy the food or to cook it or to show you. They'll never go that far. I don't know why. It's just what it's been with the good guys, you know. A lot of, a lot of times, good guys, they like free stuff. Like, they, they really go for free stuff. Like, you know, you got to really pay to play. Like, if you really want something worthy, you don't necessarily have to pay coins or American currency, but you got to pay. Sometimes you pay with time. Like, you pay with, with, with other type of attention. You pay attention, you know. You, you, you really have to pay um, for everything you desire and everything you want. You know, you got to put in the, sometimes sweat. Speaking of sweat, I'm sweating a lot. So it's like you got to pay to play. So a lot of times these good guys, they'll want, they'll want something for free, and then they'll end up making you spend more money because you got to repair a mistake. You got to repair something that wasn't well thought out. All of that is infantile. And, um, but it's just the recipe of what you know these good guys call themselves nowadays, the good guys.